And I'm up to the dirty number of mini stars. How appropriate. Okay, here we go. The final leg of the uh, board. Once again, Bowser's here to ruin the day. Not really even ruin it, because like I said in the last board, Bowser's actually more of a help in this game than a hindrance. How did Bowser get so nice? I have no idea, but I approve. I approve of a nice Bowser. Just wish he would open his eyes about Peach already and leave her alone, because he doesn't want Peach. Who would ever want Peach? Okay, here we go. Yes! Okay. When I first played one of these reverse minigames, I had the hugest laughing fit ever. These minigames are hilarious. Basically, the goal for a reverse minigame is the opposite of a normal minigame. But, the person who gets last place is the one who actually gets the mini stars. So, you basically have to lose these games on purpose, which is a very strange concept, but I actually really like it. I think it's cool how they added that in this game. So, yeah, Thwomp a room, be the first player to get squashed by a thomp, Thwomp. And yeah, that's basically what it is. The first player who dies loses. That's it. That's how it works. Stars. I lose. I get 10 stars. <laughs> God, that was... I can't believe they added that. That's just hilarious. And there's other mini games too. There's ones where we have to be the first player to fall off of a cliff or first want to get hit by a swarm of bullet bills in this one mini game. It's just hilarious. Okay. Well, we have a bomb on our cart now. I'm a little worried about that because chances are equally good that I'll actually get hit by it. Especially now. Or maybe not. Okay, this is actually good. As long as I don't end up being the second person, I should be fine. That's exactly what happened. Oh well, whatever. Maybe she gets a six. Or she gets a four and I get majorly screwed. Oh, that's annoying. That's very, very annoying. No matter what, I'm gonna lose half of my stars. And Daisy's gonna get 10,000 mini stars. Alright, let's see what you're in for. Get 10,000 mini stars. Hooray for you, that's 10,000 mini stars coming right up. What's the catch? What? You seriously thought I was gonna give them to you? If you want more mini stars, you can go get them yourself. Yeah, just like the, uh,. Mario Party 3 and 2 event where he runs away if you get, get the good item. Uh, I love that they added stuff like that in here. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get this over with. Blow up on me. There go all my mini stars. And what's even worse is I'm not even in first place anymore. Well, now I am, but still, the principle of the matter. I just hate that. That's stupid. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't get to choose. Goomba Village. Okay, this is one where you really have to pay attention. Watch the Goombas as they run into the different toad houses. Try to be the first player to guess which toad house holds the most Goombas. 
Try your best to count them if you want, but I don't know. Just try to pay attention to what house seems to open up the most. Okay. So far I'm saying yellow or blue. Okay, I'm going blue. Going blue. Going definitely blue. And maybe... maybe pink. Maybe red. I've got a lot of blue ones there at the end, so... I'm gonna go with blue. Blue's my favorite color. I'm gonna stick with my gut. It's either blue or purple. Maybe yellow, I don't know. It's not green. I know it's not green. It's not red. Yes! Perfect. That's the best part. Daisy came in last place, too, so... That worked out perfectly for me. It worked out very perfectly, because now I actually get my lead back, kind of. <clears throat> Unless something absolutely terrible happens in the boss battle or the mini-stars, I should be good to go. Oh god, we have one more event to suffer through, though, first. Make another reverse minigame, those are fun. Battle for happy. Oh no, no! Really? Oh, it better be a good battle game. It better be. I don't know what this game's trying to do to me, but it does not want me to win. Okay. Oh, not this one. This one's kind of a luck-based game, although it's not, but it's just so hard to frickin' do this. Uh, guide your bubble to collect as many balloons as you can. If you hit a spike ball, your bubble will pop, and your balloons will scatter. So, you're not out if you get hit by a spike ball, but you will lose all your balloons, so you essentially start from zero. And it's basically who can last to the very end without, you know, getting popped. Start while still having your balloons, I guess. So yeah, that's basically what this is. I think this is... I don't know, it's not a good concept. It's not. Maybe if it was a survival game and the controls were better, yeah, but... No, this is... this is not good. I'm going to do what I can to avoid these things, but I have a feeling that's just not going to do it. For, yeah, look, I barely even touched that. Yeah, just a matter of getting lucky if you're not, like, one that gets popped till the very end. No! Oh god, hurry up, get back up. Come on, Wario, come on. No! Dang it, I got last place! No! <sighs> we had to get that game of all games. We had to. Well. I don't know, I think it's over. I don't think there's any way I could actually catch up now. Unless all the mini stars were in my favor. I'm still in fur. No, I'm not. Oh, God, I'm in last place. Ah, oh, come on. That's unfair. That's really unfair. That was the worst possible game you could have given me. Oh well. All's fun and love and Mario Party, I guess. Why are we doing the beach battles in the bob -omb factory? It's kind of strange. So yes, we have to fight Blooper. Not just any Blooper. The Blooper. 
Blast blooper with your cannon. Make sure you shoot down any urchins that come flying your way. And yes, we have to shoot blooper. We have to shoot him in the face. Why? Because if you shoot him anywhere else, it's probably not going to do as much damage. Start. Okay, I'm losing, good. I'm so happy to be losing like this. No! Dang it, I shot that. Oh wow, I actually got the final attack. I didn't get... Finish. Yeah, I did! I did get... Okay, I got tied first. I wasn't the captain, though, unfortunately. I would have actually won if I didn't get hit by that urchin. Well, hey, I got first, I guess. I'm not sure how far away, though, I am from Shy Guy. Not that it really matters, because, I mean, they're still going to gain a decent amount of stars anyway. Really? Plus eight? He didn't do that much better than I did. Eh, that's lame. Okay, well, let's see how badly I lost this. I really hope I didn't get last place. Okay, let's see the bonus awards. Minus Star, who hit the most mini stars. I think I'm the only one who did. Unless I'm just forgetting about something. No, I guess Shy Guy did. I don't remember when that was, but... Okay, this should go to me, but that battle game might have screwed it over for me. Let's see. Okay, I got that at least. Okay. Spin Star. That's definitely not me. I There was a Spin Star space that was hit, and I think Daisy hit it. Daisy or Mario. Maybe Shy Guy. It wasn't me. That's all I know. Okay, well, I think Shy Guy won. And I might have gotten last place. Let's see, how badly did I lose this? Okay, I didn't get last. I didn't get second to last. Okay, I got second. Well, I'm actually okay with that. I'm glad I got at least second. I didn't lose too badly. I definitely led the entire game until that last cycle. Until that bob -omb attack, then we got that stupid battle game. If Mario would have just crossed over to the... If he would have used that slow dice block, we could have avoided that minigame altogether, but... I think he benefited from that minigame, so... I guess it's good for him for using that. Okay, here we go. Well... Oh, well, I actually barely beat Mario and Daisy. I beat Mario by 5 and Daisy by 7. That was close. Okay, well, there's the star graph. Notice that giant blue line before the end? Yeah, me too. Shy Guy did pretty good, though. He kind of had an upward trend the entire time. I just really got screwed over on that one turn. That just did not help me at all. Okay, well, let's go to mini stars. 
basically the mini star stats. And there is actually another option I didn't check last time, but there is a spaces stat where you can see how many times you land in all the different spaces. Um, yeah, Shy Guy was the only one that landed on that. Um, actually, I want to go back to uh, the previous screen really quick. I, I could have sworn I got some uh, purple stars at the very beginning of the game. Or did I avoid them? I guess I had to have avoided them because I thought I got them, but no, I guess not. And then he yeah, asked for mini games. I barely beat Shy Guy there. Okay. I did lose 30, but it wasn't who lost the most, it was who won the most. Okay. Well,. I think that's gonna do it for uh, this board. Kind of a depressing finish, I have to admit. I wasn't entirely uh, thrilled about that conclusion. But, eh, whatever, it's Mario Party. Stuff like that's bound to happen. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and next time uh, we're gonna be doing uh, Boo's Haunted House, or Horror House, or something like that. I don't remember the exact name, but we're doing the Haunted Boo Board. So that's what we have next. And uh, thanks for joining me this week, and I'll see you guys next week for more Mario Party 9. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you Star Warriors next time. Later, folks.